My name is Paul Scott Black, and I am the Bowtie Gourmet. What does a one-legged turkey say? Wobble, wobble. <laughs> Today, I'll be showing you how to make the most delicious roasted turkey. So, let's roll up our sleeves and get to cooking. If this is your first time making a turkey, you want to make sure you take out the neck and the giblets because that can be really embarrassing if you cook them in the turkey. You can use them later for a gravy if you like. You're going to take your turkey and place it in a large container. I found this one at Lowe's and it's food grade quality. Then. You're going to take your brine and pour it over the bird. There's a recipe on how to make this delicious brine at the end of this video. Then we're going to pop a lid on it and let this bird take a bath. Make sure you clear out a lot of space. This bird is going to brine in the fridge for 8 to 24 hours. Time to cook the turkey. But before we do that, we're going to preheat the oven to 500 degrees. We're going to take the turkey out of the brine and we're going to make sure that we rinse it completely before roasting it. We're going to give our turkey a nice butter massage. We're going to take some butter and place it under the skin of the breast. Next, we're going to stuff the bird. But we don't want the bird to dry out, so we're going to stuff it with some aromatics, some celery, and carrots a few cloves of garlic Then we'll add a few fresh herbs, some sage, and then a few sprigs of thyme. Then into the oven it goes. Set a timer for 30 minutes because we're not going to cook this bird at 500 for too long. Then after 30 minutes, take the turkey out of the oven.
Turn your oven down to 325. Then, take some extra wide foil and cover the bird. Then back into the oven it goes for a long rest. Towards the end of cooking, I like to take the foil off of the bird so that it will brown nicely. Ultimately, we're going for a temperature of 165 degrees in the breast and 180 degrees in the dark meat. It's finally done and ready to come out of the oven. Tie a bow on it because it's done. I never said it was going to look pretty, but daggum, this roasted turkey is so moist and delicious. This turkey is so delicious, you might have to wobble wobble yourself to the couch after eating too much. My name is Paul Scott Black, and I am the Bowtie Gourmet. Please subscribe to my channel to see future videos. Click, share, and like videos. If you want to see how I made that amazing turkey brine, click on the link at the end. And if you want to see other Thanksgiving favorites of mine, click on the Thanksgiving special playlist at the end.